So hello again everybody, how's it going? I am Arjun, a pre-final year computer science student from Sastra University, a 4-star coder on CodeChef and the president of CodeChef Sastra chapter. Welcome to our channel CodeChef. If you are into competitive programming, want to learn data structures, algorithms and master them, this is the one-stop destination for you to learn. So please consider hitting the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the notifications. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today we will be having a look at the problem Round Robin Ranks which appeared in the Snackdown 2021 online round 1A and the difficulty level of this problem is easy. And the prerequisite to solve this is actually none. Without any further ado, now let's get into problem statement. So the problem statement goes like this. A round robin tournament is being conducted in Shefland among n teams numbered 1 through n. So a round robin tournament is a format of tournament where all teams face all other teams only once and in turn. So every team play with all the other team exactly once as I said. All games have only two possible results, a win or a loss. A win yields two points to the winning team while a loss yields no points. What is the maximum number of points a team finishing at the kth positions can score? So they have always made a note. If two teams have the same points, then the team with the higher team number achieves the better rank. So this is given because they want you to understand that at any possible case there won't be a tie between two teams. So the input format goes like this. The first line contains T which is the number of test cases. Then the test cases follow. Each test case contains a single line of input containing two space separated integers N and K where N is going to be the number of teams playing the game and K is going to be the position for which the question is being asked that is what is the maximum number of points a team finishing at the kth positions can score. So output format goes like this. For each test case you must print a single integer N which is the maximum number of points the team ranked K in the points table can score. So now let's take a sample test case and try to understand the problem better. So if n is going to be equal to 3 and k is going to be equal to 1, they are asking if there is a round robin tournament between 3 teams, what is the maximum score at, that can be achieved by the team that is ranked number 1. So if we want the team ranked at position 1's score to be maximum, one possible case of a points table would look like 2, 1, 0. So that we print 2 as our answer. I hope you understood the problem statement and the test case. Now let's quickly move on and see how to approach this problem and how the solution looks like. So now I have taken for example n equals 6 and I have given a points table for example. So for example let me also give the team number. So what is special about this points table is I have assumed that all teams have 1 matches against the teams below them in the points table. So let me give numbers to the teams so that you understand it better. So this is going to be 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I have numbered them in this way because we have been told that in case of a tie, the team with the maximum number, uh, team number gets a better rank. So to avoid confusion, I have, I have given team numbers in such a manner. So if you see, Team number 6 has won all matches against all the other teams. So team number 5 has won against 4, 3, 2, 1. Similarly 4 has won against 3, 2, 1. 3 has won against 2, 1. And 2 has won against 1. And team number 1 is yet to open its account. So if you see for example, if we are going to ask what is the maximum score that can be achieved by a team at rank 4. That is over here. So if you see that, we know that Team number 3 that is which is ranked at 4th position has already won matches against these two teams. So the only possible cases are this team should win against any of these 3 teams. Either can win against all of them or 1 among all 3 or 2 among all the 3. And uh, which is possible that is what we are going to see now. So for example if this team number 3 is going to win against team number 4. Then what will happen? In the points table, the points will be like for team number 4 the points will become 2 and for team number 3 it will become 3. So in this case, it is not possible that team number 4 is at position 3 and team number 3 is at position 4. They have to interchange their positions. But we do not want this to happen. We want their positions to be maintained but still we want the maximum score achievable for team number 3. 
So what do we do now? If you think logically, it is only possible for team number 4 to win against the other teams above it, as I said earlier. So what do we do here? We take the sum of scores, that is 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2, which is going to give us 14 in total. So, if we do not want their position to be changed, what we can do is distribute 14 evenly among these 4 teams. So, what we can do is, we can distribute in such a way that all team gets 3 points. And we have dis successfully distributed 12 points in total, but still we have 2 points in hand. Then we will distribute these 2 points evenly among the teams from top, starting from top. So team number 1 will have 4 points, team number 2 will have 3 points and team number 3 will have 3 points and again team number 4 will also have 3 points. There is no other case in which you can distribute these points among these 4 teams. So finally we conclude that the maximum score that can be achieved by a, a team that is ranked at 4th position is going to be 3. So how do we solve this in programming? So what we can do is we know that the maximum points that any team can achieve is going to be 5 which is going to be n-1 and we are starting from 0 and going till 5. So the total sum of points of all teams that is in, put in other words the total number of matches that can be played is going to be nc2 which is going to be n into n-1 whole divided by 2. This is the total number of points or the total number of team uh, matches that can be played. So how do we find the sum of the points of these four teams? So what we do next is we try to find this sum and if we find this sum and subtract it from the total we will be able to get the top path sum. So for that what we are going to do is we find what is the score of the team that is ranked just below k. So it is going to be the score of k minus k plus 1th team. So we know that for each team the score is going to be n minus k as you observe here. For team number 1 it is 5, team number 2 it is 4 so it is just so it is going to be n minus k. Now let's take a fresh page and try to understand it better. So as we already know the total points is uh, total number of points or total number of matches is going to be n into n minus 1 whole divided by 2 we will take this as total points and we want the bottom points which is going to be n whole divided by 2. So then we take tp minus bt which is going to give us the total number of points starting from team 1 to team k that is uh, team ranked position 1 to team ranked position k and then we try to evenly divide it among k. And then finally, as we know that for each win a team gets 2 points, finally we multiply this by 2 and this is going to be our answer. This is one possible approach for this problem, which is the most intuitive and the most logical one. So the time complexity of this is going to be O of 1. As we take a simple formula, substitute for each test case and find the answer. There is going to be also another approach where you can observe the pattern. So as I said initially, it is the points table is going to look like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 for 6 teams playing a round robin tournament. So if you try to find the maximum points that can be achieved by position for each position, you will be able to observe that it looks like 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2. And when you take 4 teams, the points, uh, the maximum scores for each position would look like 3, 2, 2, 1. And you are able to see a pattern. And for this, what you can do is, for the team ranked at position 1, you can handle this separately. And then you see that all scores are repeating twice. You can deduce a formula and substitute this. This can be another approach, which is also going to take O of 1 time complexity for each test case. So now let's quickly move on to the C++ code of the first approach that I discussed and then finally we will be submitting it on CodeChef. So here is the C++ code for the approach I discussed earlier. 
So first I get in the number of test cases and for each test case I get in two integers n and k and I find the total sum which is going to be also known as the total number of matches that can be played which is going to be n into n minus 1 by 2 and the k score that is initially what is the score of the team that is ranked k in the points table that is n minus k as I said earlier. So then I find the bottom sum which is going to be k score my into k score minus 1 whole divided by 2. So this will find us the points of the bottom part of the points table just below k and when we subtract this from the total sum what we get is the total number of points in the points table from team ranked at position 1 to team ranked at position k and we divide it by k so that we evenly distribute among the first k teams and then we totally multiply it by 2 because we have we have been said that for each win a team receives 2 points and finally we break the line. So I hope you understood the C++ code. Now let's quickly copy it and try submitting it on Kotler. So that's it for today guys. After watching this tutorial, try to code the solution on your own and submit it on CodeChef. If you understood this tutorial perfectly, please like this video and share it with your friends who are into computer programming. To stay updated, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. You can also stay updated via our telegram group to which the link is in the description below. Thank you. Have a nice day.